Okay. We are in the Buried Sea. And I just zoned in from uh, from the Barren Coast. And I don't know if you can see this on my map, but... Uh, well, what's known as basically Pirate's Island. Uh, there are pirates on some of the other islands, but this is like the main one. Um, there are two docks on this island, and there are quests at each dock. And uh, there's a dock master here, so you can use him as a merchant if you need to. And uh, these guys down here give some quests. There are roamers that come through here. You can see right now there's some sea turtles over here. Uh, go ahead and send my pet on them. I'm uh, still a level 92 magician. Anyway, these things turn into uh, coralisks. Coralisks? Basically a seafaring basilisk. Uh, those were gray. Didn't get any experience off of them. When they're the coralists, they're usually uh, light green or even light blue. Or green or even uh, light blue still. As are some of these pirates over here you may see walking around the background there. Uh, before I go over there and kill a few, I want to do this quest for Murderous Mal. I may actually get two or three quests off of him. Let me turn my map off here. And uh, Haley. <clears throat> hey, hello, I'm Mel. Welcome to my place of business. And he's not a merchant, though. I'm right-clicking on him. He's not getting anything. But anyway, he says, uh, You see, I'm really only allowed to sell to my brother's of the Black Sail, which is the pirate group. But I suppose if you're discreet, then I might have a thing or two of interest to you. At the same time, you might have some things of use to me as well. Uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> it says, pirates aren't known for their overwhelming respect for others, you know. But I know how to run a business, and they need me for some things. Maybe you can help me with some tasks that I can't do on my own right now. I have to stay here and watch over my goods. So we'll click on some tasks. <clears throat> and it brings up three different ones. Low on rum, thieves among thieves, and deliver the goods. Now delivery of the goods, he wants you to go back to the barren coast. What you can do, you can hop on a ship and it'll zone back in after a few minutes to uh, barren coast and you can do that. Um... Thieves Among Thieves is he, Mal asks you to recover some stolen goods from him and reluctantly asks you to make an example of those that that took them. And uh, that involves some of the pirates over here. And so I'm going to go ahead and accept that one. I'm going to go back and click some tasks and bring this back up where it says low on rum. Mal has asked you to gather some rum from, for him before his supply runs out. If he ends up with a bar full of pirates and no rum, well, you can imagine the trouble that will cause. I'm going to accept that one. And I'll click it again and the deliver the good ones where you have to go back to Baron Coast. I'm going to accept that one also. So, let me clear up some of this mess. And... Do my targeting a little bit here. I'm going to put this quest item, the package of goods I have to deliver in my inventory. And you can see killing those sea turtles. I got a sea turtle liver, but it's just vendor trash. All right. <clears throat> well, let's head on over. Uh, we'll go through some of these pirates here. And you can see uh, I'm a 92 magician. So let's see how long this uh, green lasts with my uh, air pet. 
You can see it's taking it down pretty quick. I'm not using my healer. Uh, who knows, I may pop him out here pretty soon, but right now I'm not. For a couple of buffs on here again. So that took him down pretty good. 14 platinum off of that. Uh, right now it's the uh, 19th anniversary. Whoops. 19th anniversary for EverQuest. And so uh, uh, there's a 50% bonus on experience right now. And this is May. Of 28, or I'm sorry, March of 2018. Black Sail Officers Cutler. This is for another quest, apparently. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Anyway, as I said, there's plenty of pirates over here. They have a, a sizable aggro range, and there are a few roamers. So, great place to solo or with a group. And because the pirates are different races, uh, you're going to get meats off of them. In this case, I just got a uh, dark elf part, so your shaman can use that for potions and such. A lot of defiant armor drops here. There are a few named, but they're rare. Uh, respawn time on these guys is considerable. Uh, I'm going to guess and say 18 minutes. Might even be longer, might be shorter. But you can see, even that they're still light green to uh, me at 92, so with the uh, experience bonus in here, uh, I'm actually getting noticeable uh, AA advancement uh, off these guys. And I've got it set at 10%, I believe, so... 90% AA, 10% regular experience. Yeah, I'll throw another buff here on my pet. Helping whittle these guys down. Anyway, I'll get back with you when I get close. Go up here on the hill a little bit and you can kind of see some of the topography here. They uh, actually did a nice job with these islands and, and the design of them and the layout. Uh, <clears throat> you can see there were three spawns in this little area and uh, the next one over has two. So it's pretty nice if you're soloing or uh, uh, slightly under level uh, group. Uh, you can pick the best camps, you know, that you can handle. You don't have to settle for something too hard or or too easy. You can find that nice medium. <clears throat> Show you some of this ship. We'll be going inside in just a few minutes. I wanted to clear out some of these camps around. Here. Last time I was in this zone soloing for, for real experience uh, was about two years ago, so... <clears throat> I don't know if they tweaked this zone or not. It did have some pathing problems. Uh, for example, this black sail pirate right there uh, inside this little hut. Uh, you can see it's the like the hull of a boat that's been turned upside down. 
uh, you if I found out if you target uh, if you go inside and target them most of the time they will come straight at you and attack you and pet class or not no pet class you know you can engage them and kill them uh, I found that it, sometimes if you target them from while you are outside let's see if it works let me get him with force of elements here they run off and then even if you send your pet after him your pet may or may not be able to catch up to them and engage them and sometimes they just disappear so I don't know if my pet was able to do anything or not let me go on this back side and see if there's any evidence. Yeah, I'm not seeing, not seeing anything going on there. Well, maybe this is him. Yeah, he did catch up finally. Anyway, you can see, though, that there's some pathing problems. Uh, you know, he took off trying to run through a wall instead of out the front door. So... <clears throat> 23 platinum and human parts. So the money's decent here. I know money isn't really valuable like it used to be, but it still helps when you're buying stuff. Look at that pirate's medallion again. I've never seen this augmentation drop so much. I wonder if they did something and it, it uh, kind of messed up the drop rates. And you can hear that familiar bar song. Only this bar is not so friendly as the one inside of <laughs> the plane of knowledge. Oh, here's a light blue. this an IOU note uh, there's another quest item I'll go ahead and loot it just to clear up that corpse you well, I've got a little money now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unsuspend my mercenary healer Ooh, what is this Elegant Defiant Nightstone. This is a droppable, therefore sellable uh, augmentation. Hit points of 60, mana of 70, endurance of 70. So, eh, okay, not the greatest. But, so it's lore, but I can definitely sell it. So, let's go over here. You find out some of these are rogues because they will backstab you. So, we'll get some nice trade skill drops here. Flawless silk, different binding powders, some looms, all the meats, of course, for the shaman. Tough to gray wolf fur. Elegant Defiant Buckler. And I've got two remnant rums. So that helps uh, helps our quest uh, low on rum where we have to deliver ten of them to Murderous Mal. So there, you can see they're a random drop. this quest item over here. Of 
Gold blood, deep water, black diamond. These sell for quite a bit. Close to 200 plat, I believe. Deep water diamond, same thing. Ogre blood. All right. Well, let's go inside the bar here and uh, see if we can get our butts kicked. Yeah. Let's stick our head in here. We already pulled two of them out. Oh yeah, you can see several guys over here. Now you can see there's some kind of air. Uh, let me go in viz. Double check them. They are indifferent. So let me get over here and you can see these guys. They're uh, you can see they're sunk into the floor here. So. Yeah, there's just some errors in this zone with the pathing and then visual effects like this. So, what does that mean? Well, that means if that's happening here, in the next floor up, it might be happening. So, you have to be careful when you pull stuff uh, or use, for example, an, an A uh, area of effect spell, an A and E spell. Uh, okay, you can see... I directed my pet onto this one and it pulled these others away. And we're still there. And then they all came. So, even at my level 92 and this stuff's light blue and green, that was still an impressive aggro pull. How about these delivering the 10 remnant rum to murderous mouth? Uh, like I said, I've looted two of them. Uh, I could go turn those in right now if I needed to. Here's a weapon that I declined to uh, loot. And there's several of these. In this case, it's rotted planking. It's a no drop, <coughs> excuse me, a temporary weapon. So it'll disappear from your inventory. Uh, it says placeable, but that's kind of silly. Uh, class none, race none. Typically that means it's either a weapon that you just can't use or you, in the past you used to be able to give it to your pet. Uh, I doubt you can do that. I'm, I'm sure they've coded it so you can't do that anymore. Anyway, one-handed slashing. Again, you can't really use it. Base damage of 3, delay of 40, damage bonus of 67. Nice damage bonus, but it's a crappy weapon to begin with, so... But the for the level of these pirates they do hit hard, especially that back backstab, so you have to be careful. But uh nothing special about these weapons. They're not really that that dangerous. In this case, where I am standing, you can see I'm I'm just a few feet away from this black sail dock worker. But it's not. It was not allowing me to use Bane Strike or Force of Elements because it said I couldn't see my target when I clearly could. So again, there's there's some programming issues with this zone, uh, especially the ship area. So, well, why don't we go up to the next level here and and see if we can really get attacked and. I don't know if I just fell through the floor. Yeah, I'd... yeah, it allowed me to pop out. That's nice. All right, let's send our pet over here and see what happens. Have to bring him back and get this guy off. Me. Wow. So you get you get uh, jumped pretty good if you come up here. But keep that in mind if you're soloing and uh, you know, just just not over overwhelming in level like I am because I'm easily 20 levels higher than these guys probably I'm gonna guess and say they're in their 70s but they may even be in their 60s that's why it surprises me so much that 
they're conning light blue and green to me. Twenty-three platinum with that kill. Human blood and superb marrow. I can recall, uh, there's no bank in this zone that I can recall, but I can recall loading up my bags just completely full of stuff to sell and making your trip to the uh, merchants. There's two or three merchants in this zone you can sell to. Uh, and just, uh, just tens of thousands of platinum. After just, you know, like a three, four hour session. Uh, especially, most of it coming off these deep water diamonds and things. Uh, but just, as you can see, the, the amount of platinum, some of them dropped. 23, this last one was only one platinum, seven gold. But still, for an average, it's got to be, you know, 12 to 15 as an average. So, quite a bit. So if you need money to purchase trade skill items, stuff in the uh, in the bazaar, you know, money for spells, whatever. It is surely here. All right, let's see what this one gives us. Two platinum and. Here's that another one of those weapons, worthless bailing hook. Yeah, just no stats at all, just worthless. All right, let's continue on here, and we're up to three rums. So you can see the drop rate. How many kills have I had now? About a dozen, maybe fifteen. And three of them have dropped, so gives you an idea how long it would take to do this stuff. Now that we've cleared out some of these guys, oh, there's still one in there. I'll go ahead and bring him out here. Get a little aggro for my cat. See what else we got in here. Oh, this little miniature. Alcoves in here. And compartments. You never know if they stuck something interesting in these. Okay. 20 platinum off of that one. Alright. Let's go up here. And look around. Yeah, we'll have to go up the ladder here. Okay. okay. And again, you get attacked immediately when you come up. So there's three of them waiting for you when you get up here. Oh, but we have a nice view. And you can see uh, those characters down there have respawned. So, well, I don't know if it is an eight minute respawn or not. It seems like it's longer though. The, uh, Sony and Verant and who, whoever the owners were uh, at various different times before Daybreak got a hold of this, uh, experimented with different uh, spawn times, respawn times in different zones and uh, with different, different amount of success. I prefer uh, on higher level zones I actually do prefer a longer respawn time just 
because it just generally takes longer to kill them if you are at that appropriate level. Now, if you're more or less farming like I am, uh, yeah, that's that's a whole different story. But on the lower level zones, you know, one, two, say forty uh, in in mob level, I'm gonna say eight minutes is just fine. Aha! Here we go. Here is a crate of goods, and I believe this is what we need. Yes, task stage completed. So we need to deliver one crate of goods to Murderous Mouth. So we can go right now and do that, or we can keep going and get the rum. And I have four rums. So what I'm going to do is jump out here. And let's see if I can bypass some of these guys. And we're going to run over here to Murderous Mal. And you can see there's a Coralisk. I was talking about it earlier. That's light green. And the sea turtles are also back. So I'm going to send my pet on the sea turtle. And then I'm going to send him on this sea turtle over here. And then back to that one because it's running away at like 1% health. Anyway, okay. So now we shall come back over here to Murderous Mal. And we are going to turn in the crate of goods. And you can see uh, my pet just killed that Coralisk. And one of the drops is a Basilisk egg. So pretty nice. Alright, you can use that to make lump of dough and some other things. So let's turn this into Murderous Mal. And it says, Task Thieves Among Thieves is completed. Gives you several options here. So let's see what we got. Right off the bat, you got faction or experience. Uh, for the most part, if you do these quests and take the experience, you will still get slight faction gains, just as you do in the Barren Coast. Uh, you should get them here in the Buried Sea, too. Uh, if you take the experience, this is approximately 0.8% of the experience required to go from level 75 to 76. So that gives you an idea of the, the uh, mob range in here is the mid-70s. And option number one, uh, option offers the following, Jonas Dragmire's Lunate. So it looks like they're augmentations for the most part. Wisdom plus five, intelligence plus five, plus five hit points, mana, and endurance. Uh, slot hands. So looks like for... for uh, there's another one. Agility plus five. Again, hands. So for this quest, you can get an augmentation for your hands. Here's dexterity plus five. Charisma plus five. So you can see all the various classes may have one that they would like. Uh, armor class plus five. And again, all the hands. Hit points plus five, mana plus five, endurance plus five, magic plus five. So it's nice that you can kind of customize what you want off of this. Here's one fire plus five. So if you need saves for some reason, that's the way to go. I don't want any of that. I don't need them. Uh, I don't think they're that great personally. So I'm going to take option eight, and I'm going to take experience, and this option offers the following, 75 plat along with it. So, again, if you need money for mercenary healer or whatever, you can get it. So let's see what happens when I take it. Okay. I got the money. I got the very tiny amount of experience, but but it did register. Uh, and I still got your faction standing with Black Sail Smugglers has been adjusted by positive 15. So you don't need to take the faction. Because you will still get faction if you take the experience. So, just a, a nice little side note there. Alright. Now, here's the great thing about doing this quest. 
at the same time you're doing the other one for the rum, as that is, you can reacquire the that same task and uh, turn it back in. So it's a repeatable task. So you can do like I did, and I got several, I don't know, three, four, five different tasks that are all involved with these this group of pilots, uh, pirates right ahead of me. And uh, I just went back and forth and did that over and over and over and over and over and just kept leveling up and leveling up and having a good old time. Oh, it changed into a Clicknar Scout. So I got a, a Leather Roll, a Deepwater Black Pearl, which sells for quite a bit, and an Authentic Treasure Map, which is the other augmentation. It's a no-drop augmentation. Hit points, uh, required level of 70. Hit points 85, mana 25, endurance 25, and then save versus magic, fire, cold, disease, and poison plus 2. So, eh, not bad, not great. Okay. We've got this rumor over here. Bloody Mark. So we have it named. He's light blue. Fairly rare. Not the most common. And now that's it's taking care of that other guy. And again, I got a deep water black pearl and human parts plus two platinum off that kill. So let's take on Bloody Mark and see what happens. Hit points wise, it looks like he's about the same. Uh, the rate my pet is taking him down is equal to the other pirates. I'm going to guess and say that he's got one hell of a backstab and maybe a slightly better armor class. Okay, what special loot does he have? There we go. A binding band. Ah, classes are ranger, shadow knight, druid, shaman, and pure clasters and beast lord, beast master. Kitty cat beastie. Let's see. Required level of 68. Recommended of 75. Arm class 5. Hit points 150. Mana 160. That's kind of weird that it's 10 more. Uh, excellent stats. Double digits on, let's see, 12 on strength, intelligence, wisdom, agility, and dexterity. Save versus magic, fire, cold disease is plus 9. Hit point regeneration, plus 3. Focus effect, extended reach, 6. Spell effect increases the range of spells by 15%. This bonus will decay on spells over level 75. So... Very nice. If you're a group in your 60s uh, coming in here uh, and getting this thing, that's pretty decent. Pretty decent for sure. So, let's continue on here. Now, I don't know if you were able to see that, but the... Uh, Some of the mobs were stuck in the floor again, and some were not that time uh, after they had respawned from the previous time I killed them. And when they attacked my pet and came to him, then they were all presenting uh, themselves on the floor like they should. I got another remnant rum and 28 plat off that kill, so we're up to eight. Two more. Gnome blood. I have never looted that before. That's a new one for me. So that is something to sell. Well, since we're so close, I'm going to come back out here and try these guys instead of going up into the ship. We know what's up there. 
Looking over here to my right, you can see these coralliths and a sea turtle. This area involves a uh, a named coralisk that I will be doing in a future video. Lots of nice little easy tasks, uh, missions and quests and things in this zone. Overall, a very well thought out zone. There's a remnant rum off of that captain. So I have all 10 now. So as soon as I complete this kill, we'll go back and do the turn in. And yeah, let me help him out here. I'll speed this along. There we go. 20 platinum and a cloth bolt and another quest item. Alright. Murderous Mal. Okay, let's do this turn in. Deliver 10 remnant rum to murderous male. Now. Turn one in and it says your task low on rum has been updated. And yes it has. Why did I do that? I always make sure that a quest is working before I start just handing in everything. I have been burnt too many times in this game over the years to trust it. Alright, let's take away the inventory. Now, again, I'm level 92. Uh, regular experience is 63%. Alt experience is at 14. Let's do the turn in and see what happens. Alright. Again, it gives us different options, faction or experience, and the different options are these different, again, with the hands, different augments for hands. Uh, look to be the same as the one offered from before. So, again, I'm going to take option 8. I'm going to take the experience. Along with that, you get 75 plat. And let's remember our numbers over here, 63% and 14%. So let's take that. Again, this won't move, 63, 15. So 1% AA at 92. So if you're here farming, if you don't want to take the time, that's fine. But if you do, you will get a little bit of something uh, out of it. Again, if you are level appropriate for this zone, the experience is outstanding. Uh, I don't believe this is a hot zone, but it won't matter. It will still feel like a hot zone. Uh, I loved Pirate Island here, and this is just this side of it. There's another side with other quests and, and more pirates and things to do. Uh, I'll try and do videos for all these little quests on here. Uh, you can see there's several guys over here that give quests and missions and, and such. Uh, there are roamers that walk this camp that are the uh, uh, pirates that will attack. Uh, the mission givers and stuff will not assist. They won't assist you and they won't assist the pirate. But just be aware that happens. So, anyway. Well, thanks for watching and... Uh, Hope you come to this zone. It was a lot of fun. Like and subscribe if you learned something.